using the lob extremely well from the front part of the court because he knows that Rosner's setting him up. You intentionally turned on the wall to create and let interference. Wow. Have they said no let? They've given a you no let on here. To create a let. No, no. The ball came so far out there. There was no way I could hit it other way. Hold on, please. Six, eight. Yeah, no let. What's your thoughts on that one, Drew Boy? I mean, this is a good wide width from... Well, basically, they've said that he's turned on this on purpose rather than g staying on the other side of it. Well, we're going to have a little look at the no-let that was given against Simon Rosner when he turned. But the thing is, Drew Boy, we see this an awful lot, don't we, on the PSA World Tour. It's a good lob from... Look, um, it's very wide yeah. into the middle of the court. You saw Rosner turn and look to see where the opponent was. So there's awareness that his opponent is standing in the middle of the court. You know, you know what the key is as well, is he's genuinely beating him with width. It, Simon Rosner didn't turn down a volley there. He didn't go, yes. I, I want to volley this, I'm going to decide not to and come back. It's a great he, lob. He actually got beaten lob. by the width, didn't he? Yeah, he could have very easily turned his own body, Rosner, got in the way and hit that ball towards the front wall, but that would have been then been deemed dangerous. So I think that's a harsh decision for Rosner. I'm surprised that he didn't review it. To be yeah. Dangerous play. Just watch the reaction of Rosny. He looks for the opponent, turns, Sir moves into the ball, and then watch the reaction. <laughs> it yeah. almost looks as though it's Rosner that's been hit with the ball there. 